Alright, here we go. A uh, quick little video for you guys. This is how to set your Z offset um, with the K2 Plus. Um, I have found, well, I'll just go here. Go into my printer.cfg. If you scroll down here to the uh, PR Touch V3, it's down here quite a ways. This is where you normally would set your Z offset and you can see how it's commented out uh, I adjusted it to 0.1 and it uh, commented it out and if you go down here into this area this is where you're not supposed to um, edit it but I did here also and it got reset so um, then I had to go into the um, g-code macro configuration here and if you scroll down here to the start code, um, your start macro, which is down here a little ways, here it is, your start print macro, you see that they have, um, Creality has put in here, set G code offset to Z equals zero. And this resets your Z offset every single time you start a new print. And I have found um, that my printer likes to have about a 0.1 offset with a zero offset the first layer is a little too squish it squirts out I'm getting over extrusion on my um, initial layer and it, it's just it looks terrible so a 0.1 offset works for me and this is how I have found to do the workaround so what I did is I created a CFG file configuration file and this is where um, I set my Z offset. I've got a name manual Z offset and basically kind of gives you a description here and this is where I set it. The set G code offset 0.1 and um, then in your printer.cfg file scroll up here to the top you've got to set um, this your include set Z offset CFG. Um, if you don't do that it won't take effect and uh, kind of all this work for nothing. So this set Z offset macro, or uh, I mean this manual Z offset macro, you take this and you put where I put it is in this after the start print. So it, go, it runs through, scroll back up here, it runs through its entire um, process of starting the print and down here at the end I put in uh, manual Z offset. This set my skew is for another video um, to come out and maybe before or after but this is where you put the manual Z offset macro. So after it does a start process then it'll set the Z offset and when you're running a print you'll actually see this number here change to 0.1 and that's how you know you do it and you can also manually adjust it here um, but I have found 0.1 is about perfect for my printer. So that's kind of a, um, kind of a quick and short version of how I did. Um, I put my Z offset in because if you change it here, or if you change it in your your printer.cfg file, it doesn't take effect. You have to put it in. You have to do it manually. And I didn't want to take the time to run through the entire start process and try to figure out what they're doing and not doing as far as using uh, on why they're setting the Z offset to zero at the beginning of it. So um, there, that's it. That's kind of a workaround to get your Z offset for now. Um, it may be something in the future that I look into a little bit more and it, um, you know, you can, it's easier and automatic. But that's it for now and uh, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and uh, thank you guys for watching.